What's going on guys? Are you new to deer hunting? Have you wanted to pick up that rifle and maybe bag your first deer? Are you a seasoned hunter and you just don't know everything? Well, I don't know if I'm qualified to be a seasoned hunter. I've been hunting quite of a long time. I'm definitely not an expert, but I do have the basics down pat. I've killed some decent deer in my time. And I'm just going to show you a few basics. If you are new to deer hunting, these are a few things that you need to know. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about is buck sign. So if you're, a, if you're new to deer hunting and you just want to go kill a doe, you could probably do that pretty easily. However, if you do want to kill a buck, there are some things you can look for other than just tracks in the in the in the soil so let me turn you around i'm going to show you what a rub is now it is late summer today is august the 22nd 2024 and these deer that i'm the sign that i'm about to show you was left last season in fact late last season actually so I'm gonna show you what a scrape line is and I'm gonna show you what a rub is. These are things that are need to know information. If you're gonna kill a buck other than just a plain old, it was just a happenstance. If you're gonna hunt a buck and you're gonna hunt him specifically, watch for these things. Okay, you see, this is a power line right here and it goes like that's over towards my neighbor's property and this is the wood line, right? Okay, if you look right here, you're gonna see this tree was marred up. And so how that happened was he took his antlers and rubbed it up and down on this tree. Now they do that for a couple of different things. In the early season, they'll do it to rub the velvet off. And in late season, they do it to mark their territory. I'm gonna walk up through the woods and I'm gonna show you another rub. All right, that's that tree right there. And if you look, all right, right. If you, I'm standing in the same spot. If you can see that, that tree right there where it's marred up to, that's another rub. So I'm walking through the woods right here. Now, so if you see this right here, this is, a, see this opening right here? This is a deer trail. And so it comes around just like this and we're still walking on the trail and you'll see the tree that I showed you in the distance, which is not that far, probably 15 yards. Now see right there, now that tree is marred up right there. And on the other side, it's marred up right here. Now that tells you that that deer hit this tree two years in a row now it could be the same deer it's not necessarily the same deer but where i am the odds are pretty high that it is the same deer two years in a row and say he hit it right here and then the other one is taller so does it mean that he grew that much not necessarily but i would say the odds are really high that this deer rubbed it right there and then rubbed it right here. And I would say he's probably a bigger deer. So when they rub their horns, they rub their horns on the tree. Now that's telling you that a buck did. Does don't do that. Does don't have horns. So he's, that, that is telling you the buck has been in the area. And if you see them close together like this, that is that is in a line and i'm gonna turn around and show you this tree right here and so here's the trail it kind of goes a little bit like this and it comes out right there where i'm pointing that's the other tree the first tree that i showed you now what that means is he's walking this way one or the other he's either walking this way or walking this way but he is definitely walking this line now bucks tend to walk in a circle or a loop. It doesn't have to be exactly a round circle. It may be all kinds of different shapes, but it actually will loop around and connect because 
You know, it, it may take him a day to walk his loop. It may take him two days or even a week to walk his loop, but they will walk in the same spots over and over and over checking for dozing heat and marking his territory, okay? So anytime that you can see buck sign that is in a line that you know he walks that direction. So they could be two rubs, it could be two scrapes, it could be a scrape and a rub, two scrapes and a rub, two scrapes, uh, two rubs and a scrape, however that looks. But if it's in a line of any sort of line, you know that he's gonna walk right through there at some point in time. That means that you set up and you wanna hunt that specific area over and over and over. Eventually he will come through there. Now, walking back, this is on the deer trail right here. I'm walking right through the deer trail. And the deer walks right, right here. You can see where they walked on it. And he comes out, there's the, the other rub right there. And then they will walk I've seen scrapes on this power line right here. And what a scrape is, is where they, they paw out a circle. Could be a big scrape or a small scrape, but they'll paw out a spot, generally under a limb. And so I'm walking this way. And these are gonna be old scrapes. What I'm gonna find, that's an old scrape right there. You see where it kinda looks like it was marred out a little bit. That's an old scrape. And then we're gonna keep walking. I'm going to walk down here, and I'm going to find another one. Now, what they're doing is, is they're, they're pawing that spot out, and a doe will come back to that spot. There's where we started. I'm just walking down the wood line. So, they won't make a scrape in the middle of something, unless there's maybe a tree out there he could do it under. But if there is a line of trees, that is where he will walk, right up against the tree line, just like so, and he will make a scrape. And so this was a scrape right there. Now, there's a tree, they generally, what they do, and there was a scrape right there. I don't know if you can see real good, but what they do is say there's an over hemming, a over, a limb that holds out, what he'll do is he'll break this, just like this, and it'll point. He'll generally rub the leaves off of it too. And what it'll do, it'll point down right at the scrape. That's, he'll break it and make it point down like that. I'm gonna walk down a little bit further and let's see if we can find another one. I think there was one here. Keep in mind that the sign that I'm showing you and that I'm looking for again is stuff that happened last season. I mean, months and months ago. So the deer, what will happen is, is because if you find a scrape line and where rubs and scrapes are in lines, that deer's gonna come back. And if it's not that deer, it'll be another deer. Even if that particular deer was killed by a hunter, run over by a car, died of old age, whatever, another buck will take up that very same spot. So just because you know for a fact that that deer was killed, another buck will take up that spot. Looks like this was an old scrape right there. Can you see this right here? Uh, that looks like a scrape right under this limb. And I believe that was a scrape right there. So for hunting for beginners, the whole purpose to this learning how to see what sign is, and the whole purpose to this video is to recognize that though that sign is in a straight line or a semi-straight line because he goes from one spot to the next spot to the next spot to the next spot, and he will come back. So when you're going to, place a camera to try to catch this deer on film or you're trying to place a stand to try to catch this deer in person look for those signs of it in a line now i am going to put out a camera and it's i'm in the southeast and it is too early for corn even though they may would hit a little corn maybe 
but it's really it's really too early for corn but it is not too early for salt so i'm gonna put out i've got a salt block that i took a sledgehammer to and broke it up into chips and i'm gonna put uh some salt chips along this line and hopefully he will find it and hopefully i will get a picture of him when the season starts to come along it's still a little bit early for them to be out walking yet but if i can catch him walking this line early early season i'll know what i'm going to be hunting all right let's talk about camera placement let me go get the camera i'm going to go back to those rubs because those two trees were rubbed last season and one of them was rubbed the the season before and i am fairly certain he is going to come back and rub those same trees again and if not him another deer will do it okay again there's the tree and here's the trail and the trail walks up to this other rub so it tells me they're walking right down through here what you don't want to do is put the camera on the trail itself because deer absolutely notice when there's things out of place so what you want to do is back the camera up off the trail because you want him to keep using it and bucks are a lot smarter than people give them credit for so i'm gonna back the camera up off the trail a little bit and i'm gonna put some salt right under it so he have to walk off the trail just a little bit to get to that salt but even if he doesn't go to the salt you put it in such a way so the camera if he just walks the trail never went to the salt the camera will still get him walking the trail okay there's the trail there's the rub up there and then the trail goes this way and there's that tree right there with the rub there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna back it off just a little bit and I'm gonna place the camera there. I highly recommend getting a cellular camera. That way you don't have to come out and check it, you know, every day or every other day or whatever it is. You can stay out of the woods, just leave your camera there. I'm gonna slide it. I've already put my mount on there. So that's right there. So on this particular camera, turn it on. By the way, this camera right here is a Tacticam Reveal. I bought it uh, last Thanksgiving or Black Friday, last Black Friday. So not, so 10 months ago, give or take. And I have used it, uh, all last deer season, or the, at least during rifle season. And I have used it uh, for other various things around the property. So you can see right here, this is a, a, a screen and it has a red line on it. And you just put that red line where you want the middle of the picture to be. And so I've got it facing towards the trail, but not on the trail. And I'm gonna leave it We'll turn it right there and we're gonna get out of here oh yeah i almost forgot to put the salt down let's do that this right here is if you've ever been to tractor supply and seen the mineral blocks the so mineral blocks is mineral salt it's like 99 98 percent salt whatever minerals okay so what i did was say that the block itself was like eight dollars and instead of putting a whole block in one spot, I took a sledgehammer and busted it up into these chips about that size. And I can, instead of having to buy multiple salt blocks, well, one $8 salt block will give me multiple locations in which it, that's what I have done. This is actually location number three. So I'm going to put that, this block right here. There's my camera. There's my salt right there. So if he comes and looks on this salt, the camera's definitely going to catch him. In fact, it's catching me right now. So we're going to get out of here. I try not to mess up the woods too much. I'm out here talking loud, but that deer is not here right now. There's a road over, over that way. He's crossing the road to come over this way to walk this scrape line. One thing you got to understand about deer is they live in bachelor groups and doe groups or female groups, however you want to say it. There, there actually is a name for it, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, so, during the summer, the bucks all stay together. 
and they will break up early season they'll break up and they'll want to fight and fight for territory deer are very very territorial so that's why i say if a scrape line has a deer running it but then he gets killed or run off or whatever he doesn't come back another deer will take his place because they want that territory too because they want that territory and the does that come with it and there are does here that live on the property full time uh, that i'm aware of i've not seen any bucks living here full time but that means that the does are here he's coming so we want to keep those does here so i'm going to be feeding them probably starting in a month i'll start feeding them some people feed all year long that's just not what i do i hope this video was informative don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm doing all kinds of things i don't just hunt here that is not what all i do i'm a homesteader and I'm, I do gardening and how-to stuff and all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> but I love to deer hunt. So we're going to talk about it. Although I am not an expert at deer hunting, I am not. But I do know a good bit about it. And I have killed some decent deer in my time. So I'm just passing along the little bit of knowledge that I have. There are more people, far more experts than I am. But the little bit of knowledge that I have, I'm just passing along and for a beginner who knows nothing about deer hunting, this absolutely would be a start for recognizing what deer sign is, and especially buck sign. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.